my lighting is going crazy. I'm not gonna apologize because that's what YouTubers do. They go, oh my god, I'm so sorry that my candle back here is not... Whatever, who cares? So before I start on today's topic, I just want to remind you, if you haven't yet, to follow me on social media. My Instagram is at Flavia de Borges, and my Twitter is at Flavia Borges. Super easy, follow me on there. I post usually like four times a week. I can hear from you guys, you can ask questions, we'll get to know each other, okay? This is one of the topics that inspired me to start a YouTube channel. A lot of you already know that I'm a full-time actress. I talked a little bit more about it in the 50 Facts video I filmed. It's quite challenging and I would say it's even more challenging for women in general. Eventually I realized that my type fit a very superficial female roles that in my opinion diminish what it is like to be a woman and what a woman is all about. Bartender, waitress, bartender, waitress, bartender, tall girl, hot woman. Like there's more that I could be doing, there's more that I could be offering as a person and even if those roles were the only roles available but they were a little bit more complex or if the the story was centered around that character around that bartender but no these are all roles that are supporting the male lead nothing against men I'm married to one however if their story deserves to be told our story deserves to be told too and it's unfair the way the industry treats women and the reason for this whole problem is because there aren't as many female directors producers executive producers writers just to give you some context an article published by variety magazine last year suggested that seven percent of all films made in america were directed by women that is a ridiculous number. I know there are women going to school for film. I know there are women trying to work in this business. I wanna know, where are these women? The only explanation is men continue to hire men and women are left behind. And I just decided I do not wanna be part of this statistic. When these inspiring stories about women were not magically landing on my desk, I decided I had to write them. Why in the world I thought I could put this off? I have no idea. I didn't go to school for film, but I have something to say, and I'm gonna say it. That's reason enough for any other guy out there making movies, that should be reason enough for me too. I'm just learning as I go. I'm trying, I'm taking risks, I'm making mistakes, trust me, I'm making mistakes. But that's how you learn. I've been in enough sets to know that being a director is a skill that I don't think I've developed yet. Writing made sense and felt natural, so I started as a writer. I didn't go to school for writing, but I did work as a writer. That gave me some kind of creative writing background to start from somewhere. I wrote my first script probably three years ago. I bought a book on screenwriting and started reading it so fast because I was in such a hurry. If you are a screenwriter, you know that the most important thing is the story. And it doesn't matter when, you just have to make sure it's strong enough. And being in a hurry is not gonna help you. My first short screenplay was all about turning 30. I think I was having a pre-30 crisis. It was not good. It wasn't good. Then after that, I wrote another one, which I actually showed people. Then after that, I wrote another one, and after that, I rewrote the last one I had written. I think I have something here that might be worth somebody else's time. And then I came up with something that I thought was worth putting into production, and that was really exciting for me. That script was written in partnership with a friend who ended up directing the project. We gathered a super talented crew of mostly female filmmakers and got to work. It's called The Devil Between Us. We're very eager to share this project with the world. We're getting ready for festival submission. <laughs> I just hope you guys support us on social media any way you can. Currently, my attention has its focus on a new feature screenplay written by me. It's called Half. I've been working really hard at it. Going from a short film to a feature film is a huge jump. I never thought I would be able to do it, but here I am. Instead of telling you guys what it is about, I'm just gonna read it to you just because I'm terrible at explaining for what it is about. I get nervous and I don't know, so I'm just gonna read it to you. Carol wants to get pregnant. Unanswered questions and multiple failed attempts have made her calloused. Julia is an aspiring actress with hopes to become a U.S. citizen. 
Now, the two estranged sisters are reunited in Chicago. Upon Julia's arrival from Brazil, Carol makes one last desperate attempt at conception. So basically, the film talks about infertility, two sisters who have been kept apart for a long time. It touches upon the subject of immigration a little bit, and I've just poured my heart and soul into it, and I'm really excited to see what's going to happen with it. I have no idea what could come of it, but I'm excited with the possibilities. Because I already have a couple projects under my belt, and I intend on continuing to produce more and more, I started my own production company. It's called Fruity Hat Films and I'm focusing on telling stories with women at the center. You can visit my website at fruityhatfilms.com. I chose to choose my own path. And yes, it is extremely important that women are telling their own stories because guess what? Nobody's gonna do it for us. We have to do it ourselves. And the more women making films, the more women are hiring other women to work on projects together and that way we'll start changing things. I know I'm starting from a very small place that I don't have a whole lot of power, but actually I do, I do. If we each start individually working at it together, there's a lot of power in that. Wow, it feels great to just say that. It's good stuff. We can do it. We're women, we're smart, we give birth. I haven't given birth, but whatever. If you wanna get started, there's so many resources on YouTube, books, but you know what? It doesn't really matter how you're going to do it. You just have to start somewhere. Buy a camera, get together with your friends, or use your cell phone. There's so much technology available these days. Wait, whatever it is, if it's writing a short film, if it's a play, or if it's content for the internet, I don't care what it is, just write. Make sure that you get together with your friends. You cannot do this alone. Filmmaking is a collaboration and it's great. That's one of my favorite things about it, that you cannot create something alone. Comment down below if you're a female filmmaker who's trying to break into this business. I would love to hear about your projects. I want to support you. And even if you're not, if you're, if you're just interested in filmmaking, please, let's share. Let's share the wealth, okay? If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Share it with your friends on social media. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and support us. It's called Fruity Hat Films. <laughs> First of all, my English was not good enough. They trained me for a few days, and then one day I show up to work, and this woman comes up to me, Flavia, today we're going to put you on the floor. And